Hello. So, this is my attire. The day I thought I would just have some chill. I've just got out of the bath and I wanted to show you sort of what I get up to. First thing that I would do then, um, I've actually already moisturised my body. Ooh, I'll show you what I love for that one second. And it's this. It's by Sanctuary Spa and it's called Wet Skin Moisture Miracle. Sometimes after I've got out of the bath or I've got out of the shower, I sort of can't be bothered to moisturise my skin. Um, but since I've got a bit of a tan and, you know, you can't really tell that I've got a tan, but I sort of have. Um, I've been taking a bit more care of my skin just to try and keep the tan a bit longer. Basically it works when your skin's wet. So, you know sometimes when you've got dry and you're really cuddly and maybe you've put your dressing going on and you think, oh, I forgot to moisturise and you think oh, I'm too warm. Um, this, you literally get out of the shower while you're still wet, quickly, and it dries so quickly, it's so lovely, rub it into your skin and then that's it, it's done and it doesn't leave like a sticky residue. If you're a bit lazy like me or if you're a mum or got a busy job, this is a really good product to have, definitely. Cosmetic stuff for skin. I've got through three of these now and it's the Bronze Goddess Estee Lauder Body Cream. God, get it out! God, get it out! Oh God, that. Because I've got thick nails, the stuff gets under the nails. So sometimes, I know it's disgusting and you shouldn't, but sometimes if I'm biting my nail, I, oh my gosh, and you get a taste of it. It even tastes nice. And the reason I found out about that was because I was in Pocklington in a charity shop and I'm one of these people that I, I'm not uh, afraid to look silly. And there was this woman in front of me in the queue and she smelled amazing, this old older woman. And so I thought, you know what, if you don't ask, you'll never know. And I always do this, I sort of will tell people that they smell nice or I like what they're wearing and I think everybody should try and do that a bit more often because I don't know if you've ever received a ran received, <laughs> received a random compliment before but it just makes your day better. And honestly, every single person that I've ever given a random compliment to, you can see it in the, fa in the faces. They just sort of have this happiness about them and... It's just lovely. Anyway, I digress. And I said, excuse me, what what perfume are you wearing? Because you smell amazing. And she said, oh, well, actually, it's not a perfume. It's a body cream by a bronze goddess, Estee Lauder. And that's how my mini tubs of this came about. Deodorant. Now, I never wear female deodorant. I'm asthmatic, so I don't like using the tss, tss, tss. I don't know why I'm doing an impression. Aerosol. Um, it makes me cough especially women's um so i use men's black and white by nivea i don't know what it is with the men's products but i feel like i smell cleaner like women's it's always like oh be floral oh you smell like a flower but i want my armpits to smell clean not like a flower my skin can smell like a flower but my armpits need to smell clean anyway <laughs> So, got all the bath, done the skin stuff, all snuggled. Revlon One. Now, you can't get this in any shops because it's a salon only product, but you can get it online. Sometimes they do it in TK Maxx. Um, and it's just great, especially if you're like me, if you've got really fine hair, but a lot of it. And it gets luggy. Now, this is called air dry because I sometimes cannot be bothered to dry my hair. I know it looks better when it does but most of the time I just let it air dry because I'm a bit OCD. I get like three showers a day. Um, so if I was blow drying my hair all the time then my hair would be... Ah! Um, but this is the air dry and it says to moisturise, soften and smooth for a polished texture. Rub it into the ends. The purple shot hot 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 hot. Um, it is the hot for shots, hot shots, blonde hot shots. You rub it into the blonde bits. It's 
the Grip Seed Oil Serum and it's really cheap and it's from Body Shop. The Stafford Coco Loco Hair Oil. It smells like Coco Moroccan Oil. I'm sure you've heard of this. So I am going to put this on now. Now on to... Yes? Oh. Uh. Hello. Can we help you? I'm not doing autographs today. <sighs> Sorry about that. You know how fans are. This face mask. This face, I'm sure my teeth are too big for my mouth. Um, this face mask is Estee Lauder's a dirty, uh, Clear Difference Purifying Exfoliating Mask. Just notice I've got a black eye. I'm being lazy, I will just use them. My favourite product of mine, again, I've got about three... I've got through about three bottles of these. It's Lancome's Bi Fit Facile? Facile? like this it's not like a messy face mask it's so easy to use chill out listen to well music this sounds more like an airplane not a whale right I'm just gonna wash it off I'm gonna use circular Motion. I also have this one from The Ordinary, which is um, a 10 minute exfoliating facial, however it is a peeling effect. It's the same thing, but this is a night peeling one, so it's not as strong in acid, but it's a peeling, it's by Vici. Move on to what I do next. Now, I'm not a skincare expert, so I know I'm probably doing this all in the wrong order. But this is just what works for me. I'm going to squirt some of my... Tony Comfort by uh, Lancome. By the way, as well, if you're an acne sufferer, these are amazing. One of the best skincare products I've ever, ever, ever used, and it's the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. All the celebrities use this. I think even the princess uses it. It's like this. Use this on your eyes as a makeup remover. You can use it as a. Shh! Use it. That's just a cleanser, just to clean your skin. Keep it on as a mask for a bit and then wash it off. Like a baby's bum. The oils. Now, this one from Bobby Brown is the Pore and Oil Control Oil. So I'll sometimes use that. This one is from Holland and Barrett's and it's Rose Hip Oil. If I'm feeling extra, I use my Estee... Lauder Nighttime Repair. I use that and you use that before your moisturiser. And the moisturisers that I use... Oh god, that scared me. Ah, Clinique Moisture Surge. Bobbi Brown, obviously, face base. It's the vitamin enriched one. Oh, that's amazing and really good before makeup. And in Browns in Beverly, you can get this. Twelve pounds. Twelve pounds. But my trusty favourite is my Hydrogenius by L'Oreal. It's eyes. Now, if I'm in a hurry, I'll use my Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. So I'm going to use that today. Tap, 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 tap. Never rub. Always tap. Because this is, and I think you're actually meant to only do it with that finger, aren't you? Because it's the gentlest. But who's got time for that? So just tap, 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 tap. If I want to do it overnight, I'll use my Estee Lauder Advanced Repair Eye Cream. What we can't forget our lip is the Body Shop Bubblegum Exfoliating Stuff. Now this stuff you can eat because it's just like sugar. Well it is sugar. Overnight I will use the Blistex Moisture Intensive Moisturiser and that comes out as like a white but my trusty favour, favourite is the doctor lip as you can see the dogs again have tried to eat it but luckily they didn't pierce it so i can still use it right then so i'm ready to relax i'm all clean 
my face feel clean. I don't know if it looks any better from the start, but it feels better and I feel clean. So, thank you for watching. I know some people will find this incredibly boring, but hopefully if you like skincare or you want to find some new products that might work for you if you are oily um, or have spots or big pores like me, then you can try some of these out and let me know if you have any luck with them and if you like any of them or even if you just buy any of them because I'd love to know um, and if you want to in the comments leave your YouTube links to your skincare regime because I still love to learn and as you can see I just I get so fickle with products I just like to try new ones all the time so I'm always looking for a new product so thank you for watching again bye guys